Hello friends, this is Kevin, aka Kman1, coming back at you with another episode of Super Mario World. In the last episode, we tackled all of Star Road, and in this episode, here it comes. Here's the uncut, unedited, real, raw, special world blind run. Let's just go ahead and jump into Gnarly. Hopefully, 19 lives is going to be enough. And if it's not, then... I'm going to blame someone besides me, because that's the American way, innit? And can I please just grab this? Okay, so clearly this is some sort of climbing level, and there's nothing particularly difficult about it so far. I'm... I mean, I don't want to, like, jinx it, obviously. Because obviously, if so many people have a lot of trouble with it, it's going to be, you know, at least somewhat challenging for sure. Alright. And one thing that I know is that there aren't any secret exits because um they're all yellow levels, I'm pretty sure. But um yeah, I legitimately know like basically nothing about these levels. So I feel like, I don't know, my commentary is going to be pretty much completely non-existent, but, I mean, hey, we're not here for high-quality commentary. We're here for... Okay, so clearly this isn't the end of the level yet. Um, I guess. Okay, yeah. I'm probably gonna need the other... Uh, I'm probably gonna need one of those other P-switches. But, we'll never know until we try. And there's a locky too. And a mushroom. Always grab mushrooms. And... Really? That was it? This is the secret world I've heard so much about? I really hope it gets harder from here, because if this is literally all there is to it, then I am sorely disappointed. Alright, managed to get two up there. See, I don't know. Obviously, it's only the first world, so they're not- the first level, rather. So, they're not gonna put all the difficulty into it, but really? That was really easy. Anyways, on to tubular. Uh, so it's a lot of pipes. Not much I can see right off the bat. And- Okay, that wasn't the level's difficulty, that was just me being bad. Right there. That's what that was. So. Just jump right back into it. No worries, no power up, but from the look of things, right off the bat, I won't really be needing one in any sort of immediate sense. Um, okay, so clearly this is gonna be another... Oh, okay, it's a pea balloon. Ah. Uh... Okay. So chances are, yep. Yeah. Figured that was going to be another pea balloon. And gotta work my way through these volcano flowers. Alright. One of these is going to be another pea balloon soon enough, I'm sure. Or not. Um. So. How? What? How am I supposed to do that? Okay, there must have just been another pea balloon that I missed somewhere along the line. Okay. Still, still. It's just a matter of learning where the power-ups are. And I died there. <laughs> I'm so bad, guys. Ugh. I'm probably gonna need way more than the 19 lives I started with, so the only thing I'll cut away for is like if I just go uh, on a run to farm a couple extra lives, but hopefully it won't be super necessary, just cause hopefully, hopefully the levels aren't gonna get like crazy insane difficult and I totally... Can I please... Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like Pea Balloon is going to be the only way I can complete this level, which is fine. Oh, I know what I need to do, what I did before. 
I gotta hit the P-switch, and then go with the spring so that I'm not constantly getting blocked. So... And... We're back in this. And I'll go ahead and hit up as many blocks along the way as I can, just to make sure I get all the P-balloons that I need. But this was a P-balloon, if memory serves. And I'm just gonna work our way along. This is like really stressful, if I'm being completely honest. Because it's just like I know that the difficulty is gonna come eventually. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna be sorely disappointed. But maybe... Am I supposed to go through there? Nope. I think I probably was supposed to grab that as a pea balloon. I feel like that's probably the next pea balloon spot. So if it's not, then I'm just gonna be seriously confused as to what I was supposed to be doing. And okay, again, that wasn't the level being hard, that was just me being bad. So Ugh. This is going rough. I'm failing on super easy stuff. Like I said, I'm failing on super easy stuff instead of actual difficult things. So... If, if at least the reasons I'm failing are because either I don't know where the next spawn point for an item is, or I'm just playing really badly, I almost died there, and that would have been the most embarrassing thing of the night. Um, but yeah. As long as the only reasons I'm dying are for, um, what's it called? Just for me being stupid, then I think this won't be that bad. Alright. And so, if I'm correct, and this is the next pea balloon spawn point... No! It was! It was! I was right, at least. So that's, that's the positive thing to look at. So that's the next pea balloon. And I guess the big thing is just kind of going to be hitting all the question mark blocks to make sure you get the next pea balloon. So, just something you gotta be on top of. And weaving our way through these baseballs. These charge and chucks are really just going to be the death of me. Because, I mean, I hate charge and chucks in normal levels, let alone in this madness. And it's charge and chucks and pea balloons. Two mechanics that I don't particularly care. Well, I guess charging trucks are more enemies than mechanics. But the fact of the matter is, I don't really care for pea balloons all that much. I think they're really, really slow, which I guess is kind of the point. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I really didn't want to die there. I mean, I don't want to die at all, obviously, because I want to look like I have. T okay, so that was it. Just two pea balloons. That's all. And apparently, having a pea balloon when you go over the thing gives you a mushroom. So, more things that I'm learning. Hooray. So again, these haven't been too bad so far. It's just a matter of kind of learning where everything is. So... Uh... Oh, that one's a save point? Really? That wasn't even that bad. Um... The recording's not that long, so I figure we're good to keep going for at least one more level. Alright, so... We all know how that... Me okay, so this is gonna be a switch level. So, I feel like... That switch is probably going to lead me to my doom. I was wrong. Okay, so this is basically just going to be a lot of guessing with switches. Ugh, I hate guessing because you you always guess wrong. It's it's that completely canny thing in it. So making my way downtown, walking fast, faces passing. I'm homebound. Um. All right, so fuzzy's here. Not going to be a problem because I am. The best player in the world. Um, let's see. Um, okay, so that's gonna loop me back. Uh, yeah, no, this is where I die. GG. Okay, so it seems like this level is more annoying than hard just because you kind of need to memorize which switches you're supposed to hit. Which I guess isn't a problem necessarily, but like, I was expecting to... I was expecting levels that would push me in the sense of like, having to react quickly and have mastered the mechanics and be able to do stuff like that. So, uh, so far, Special World's really kind of been 
whatever. Nothing special, ironically. But maybe, I mean, again, these are just the first two levels, so maybe I just need to really get into it before it's challenging. Um, but we'll just have to see. And I guess dodging the fuzzies is its own unique challenge unto itself, but I mean, fuzzies don't even move particularly fast. I'm gonna die to fuzzies a lot now that I'm dissing them. That's just the way this is gonna work, isn't it? Ugh. So. And. Gotta work our way on through. So it seems like I'm hitting pretty much every switch thus far. Yeah, it seems like I need to hit every switch is is what's going on here as I pass it. So if that's all there is to this level, then really? And fuzzies, I need to run there instead of jumping. Ugh. This level isn't way cool, it's just it's a level. I wonder what happens if I take the other, the upper path. I'll just go ahead and follow that right now. I don't know. I'll have to try that maybe next time. Real. Okay, I'll just try the upper path this time. Just to see how that one plays out. Because I imagine both of them will eventually lead to the goal. But. I don't know. This is a special world. Anything could happen. And, again, I feel like it's not even that the level's hard, it's just that I'm playing badly, because the platform's not moving that fast, it's not like I needed to jump immediately. I just got impatient, and I didn't mean to push that, because I was trying the upper. I don't know why I jumped there, because I know I can just crouch under that fuzzy. See, my, my play is just deteriorating more and more and more as I'm trying to marathon these levels. So, I don't know, maybe this is the, the wrong choice. But, then again, what's more entertaining, me playing well, or me not having any clue what's going on? I would guess the former. Or, wait, no, the latter. I feel like that's probably a pipe I can go through up there. Uh, but the world, as it, as it were, may never know. Oh, okay, well. I thought I was gonna die there. I was wrong. That's not a pipe. All right, so if you have a Yoshi here, then you can use that to go to coin heaven. But given that I don't have a Yoshi, and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought you would just like stay automatically on the bottom of the ropes there. So, my bad. So it seems like the upper path is definitely the easier one. Um. And then I did hit that. Okay. We're taking this path this time. And <sighs> I'm already running low on lives. I knew 20 probably wasn't going to be enough if the special world really was as hard as people make it out to be. But I don't know. I was feeling confident. So, yeah. And come on, mushroom, really? That's unfortunate. So it seems like I'm on the lower path again, so all that work for nothing. Or something like that. And I remember that we want to be on the lower path for this one as well, if we are locked into this path. And okay, that's pretty easy and straightforward, so we're at the halfway point again. And so be very conscientious of the fact that these ropes do not keep you on them. They have a vested interest in your untimely demise. And, okay, we're not quite at the end. Gotta time this right with the fuzzies. And gotta be lower and higher and lower. And, oh my goodness, this is stressful. <laughs> it's just like I knew it was gonna do it for me, but mm, that's obnoxious right there. And so close to the end. I feel like that's probably the end of the level. I'd say let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but, I mean, I'm gonna figure it out for myself by the time this video's over. 
because I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this level, dang it, and hopefully I'm not gonna have to go and get more li Hopefully I'm not gonna have to go get more lives, but I'm dying constantly because I'm bad. So, I mean, as far as, like, lives it's taken me to complete the level, I guess you could rank this as among the more difficult levels in the game. But I honestly feel like... I honestly feel like the game itself isn't hard, I'm just playing ridiculously badly for no reason. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe the difficulty comes... I'm an idiot, and I was supposed to press the switch there. See, again, it's just like stuff like that. Me being dumb, rather than the game itself being difficult. So, what do I know? Let's just keep going on through. And... I'm kind of trying to memorize which path was easiest for me, but... It seems like I'm dying ridiculously frequently on all paths that I'm taking. So maybe I should just, maybe I should try pressing as few switches as possible this time. Try taking the upper path. Ah, what, what? I definitely wasn't running there. And I stopped like actually watching the screen because I thought I was in the safe zone. So let's just stick to the upper path as much as possible. Why not? Cause, I mean, you know what they say. You, you already know what they say. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you. So, yeah, and so we got a dragon coin there, which is nice. No point in hitting that because I already know it's something for Yoshi, and given that I'm not Yoshi and I do not have a Yoshi, it's going to be pretty worthless to me. So I want to be high there, low there, high here, jump that, careful with the timing on these. High here, low here, high here, low here, here. Just gotta trust. Believe in myself. Got it. Okay. Whew. I died like a ridiculously large amount on that level, but again, I don't feel like it was very hard. It was just kind of. It was probably super cringy to watch as I'm just like complaining about the level not being difficult while I'm constantly dying. But I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Anyways, I think this is good enough for this episode. It's run like 18 minutes. So yeah, I'll go ahead and start tackling the other ones in the next episode. So see you guys then.